Hello and welcome back to Lorefet Gaming Plays Ultima 6, the False Prophet PC version. I'm your host, Lord Fenton. In part four of Ultima 6, the False Prophet, we're going to go ahead and do some more exploring in the city of Britain. This time we're getting the Rune and Matra of Compassion. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more classic modern games like this. Do not forget to hit that notification bell so be updated more. In the last video, we stepped foot inside the city of Britain and met some interesting characters. Now we're going to go ahead and explore the easter side of this city. There's going to be a lot of talking, a lot of information gathering, and finally, last but not least, we're going to go ahead and get two key items, a word phrase and a rune. Let's not waste any more time and go ahead and do it. I'm going to go ahead and officially say, welcome to the eastern side of Britain. So let's explore. Again, uh, look but don't touch. All right, there's a gravestone. Now, if there's any signs, I cannot translate. You heard me right. Nope, I cannot. These are rune languages, so if you need to, go ahead and translate that yourself. I wish I could, but nah. Now, if there was something very important, I will definitely uh, translate those later on, just like the uh, previous Ultima games. So what we're going to go ahead and do is do some exploring, because we definitely need to do that. Let's go ahead and check this sign. Dolstal C. Shimino. Get out of the way, dude. Seriously. Not today. Yeah, good. Stay there. Look pretty. Dolstal C. Anomaly. Okay, that is good. And what is this other one? Dolstal C. A food shop. That's a good choice. Let's go inside the armory. Again, use the uh, U uh, button to open it up. Uh, that's what I always do. Let's see who that is. All right, that looks like it's a definite blacksmith. How's it going, buddy? How's it? How you doing? You say swarthy blacksmith. All right, this is gonna be interesting. Hey, and a good morning to you. Good. Well, good morning to you too. What's your name? I'm a name of Max. Uh, he's speaking Italian, so this is gonna be very bad Italian accent. So I'm very sorry for my Italian listeners out there, Max. Hey, my hearing's she's not so uh, good. What you say? Oh my goodness, this game. What's your job? What's the matter? Are you blind or something? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I make these swords and stuff. What's it look like? I'm a doing here. Oh my goodness, this is really funny and bad. You got something to sell? Or oh, something you want to buy? Sell. So, Let's go ahead and do me. What you want? Will you take 25 gold for that sword, Fenton? Uh, we're not selling the sword. Okay, we cannot sell the, uh, unfortunately, uh, I hate to say it. Perhaps some other uh, time. What you uh, want next? Let's go ahead and uh, do armor. So the sword's pretty good. Uh, no, let's do weapons. Yeah, let's go ahead and see what he has a selection. And dagger, spear, sword, and two hand. Okay, if we get any of those, we'll sell to him. Which one you want? Uh, to change your mind? Uh, what's next? Armor. Armor, okay. Cloth, chainmail, heat, armor, shield. Okay, no helmet. So, those leather helmets, they're screwed. Uh, same thing with the boots. And he tells her to change her mind. And then they'll say bye. Goodbye to you and come back again soon, huh? Yeah, that was a little bit messed up. But it was authentic Italian accent on the character. But still, I am very sorry, my Italian listeners. I butcher your language. The game did that for you. But still, that is very neat. Italian uh, armor smith. I love that a lot. Seriously. I'm part Italian. Let's uh, go on in. This is a bakery. One of Britain's famous bakeries. There's like a few in uh, Ultima Online. It's pretty cool. You see a short dark man covered in white flour. Yeah, he does look like he's covered in white flour. He looks like Hugh Laurie from a house. Hello there, my friends. Nice to meet you. Okay, let's go ahead and keep on going. As he shakes your hand, as these elastically clouds of flower fly off his clothes. That is really uh, cool. He's a hardworking guy. I'm Colin, Colin the Baker. Very nice to meet you. I'm the Avatar, more like Fenton. Uh, Baker. I bake goods for Lord British himself, the man says proudly. Humility, dude, remember that. Just saying. Pride is evil. 
If you like to buy some, just say the word. I'm going to go ahead and check out your selection. Bread, cake, and rolls. I got to remember uh, that. Because hey, that's very nice. Suit thy uh, self uh, fitting, but thou uh, find no uh, better. Well, you were right, probably. Yeah, I have uh, thought I'd uh, be obvious. I'm a baker. As the uh, last hardly more clouds of flour rises off his clothes. You can buy uh, baked goods or uh, if you have some flour to sell. So keep that in mind. If we get some flour legitly, in other words, around the world, we'll sell it to him. If we can make some flour, we'll bring it to him and get some extra cash from it. Or if we could find a place that uh, sells flour, we could trade it to him there for more coin. Yeah, in other words, a trade route. Just like my uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. I have a guide on that, on one of the trade routes on that. Oh, thou shalt see a Fletcher, and this one is uh, thou shalt uh, see a textile shop. Uh, good to uh, know. Let's go ahead and go inside the Fletcher. In fact, we need something there. Now, in Ultima 6, uh, arrows and uh, bolts are limited, so we do need to stock up once in a while. We're going to do that quite a bit. You see a tall, wittily uh, woman with long blonde hair. Hmm, she looks good, too. That's cool. Let's go ahead and speak with her. Yeah, th this is a very nice shop. How can I help thee this fine morning? Yep, j you're just going to help me greatly. Ah, I accidentally hit the double enter. Very well, I hope uh, that I've aided thy quest. Well, you did. Let's go ahead and do that again. Well, hello again, Avatar. Yeah, I should just ask her name and such. How can I help thee this morning? What's your name? I'm Lynn. Nice to meet you. Uh, those thou need to tell thy, uh, me thy name, and the famous, the avatar is famous throughout the land. Oh, thank you so much. You're a legend. I'm a Fletcher, uh, Fletcher. They make bow and arrows and such. I make, uh, arrows and bolts for armies of Lord British himself. Uh, bolts. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do bolts. We're gonna do arrows and, uh, crossbows. So we're gonna go ahead and do, uh, crossbows. She sells them by a dozen. We're gonna go ahead and take one dozen. So we'll, uh, handle the money to uh, her Lynn takes all of those money and hands over the bolts I appreciate thy business is there uh, anything else you need nope farewell hope I hope I uh, ate it uh, thy quest he says again oh you did yeah, besides you stocked up my boy with some more bolts 12 more we're gonna be using those quite a bit so you're gonna be getting repeated business unless I'm in another area so our uh, next stop is the textile shop I should say the cloth maker shop for those of you who don't know what textile is if you really uh, want to learn about that in a gaming sense go play Ultima online and become a tailor you'll learn that big time Haven teaches you some things some of it you learn on your own still it's uh, good so let's go ahead and talk uh, to the shopkeeper and see who he is and what he definitely uh, sells Let's see uh, who uh, this person is. You see a man in multicolored jacket. His fingers are long and graceful. That's good to know. That's a nice jacket, by the way. Good morning, me lord. Good morning to you, too. What can I do for you? Ah, uh, simply, what's your name? My name is uh, Fyodor. What is thy name? Let's go ahead and be honest. Honesty is a virtue. Fenton. Pleased to uh, meet thee, Fenton. Nice to meet you, too. What's your job? I make cloth upon my loom. Perhaps you uh, like to buy some. Uh, let's see if I want to definitely buy some. Let's talk about the loom. I push the pedals with my feet like this. Then I pull these levers. That's why you hear in the background. The power depends on which combinations of the levers I push and I move. My father's loom was not so complicated as mine. This uh, design came from one of Lord British's old books. Uh, books, Lord British's treasures, antiques. There is uh, one book for which he hath offered a reward. Oh, that is a good thing to know. The Wizard of Oz. That's a very good book. Uh, by Master L. Uh, Frank uh, Brown, I believe. Yep, I think that's an L there. Still, go ahead and read it, kids. It's a very good book. It concerns a girl, adventurer, a strange land, and a clever balloonist. Okay, this might be a hint here, balloonist. Are they uh, not made of silk in the uh, form of a great bag? Okay, let's talk about silk, shall we? Tis a wonderful strong stuff, silk, and very light. Okay, this is good to know. 
Let's keep on uh, going with it. I regret that I am not skilled enough to weave silk. Yeah, that's unfortunate. In New Magentia, however, lives the silk weaver, Charlotte. Okay, this is a clue about Charlotte and the uh, hot air balloon. Let's talk about her. She is the only person I know of who can uh, weave silk. Thank you so much. Bye. May our uh, paths cross again someday. And I think if you give them cloth to uh, sell, you get some coins. So again, it's another uh, trade route. Uh, get used to that, everyone, because if you really need some uh, cash, like quick uh, gold, trading is a way to uh, go. And since we got the Order of Moons, we could definitely do it. Let's see uh, who he is. You see a man wearing a long gray cloak with look like a important symbol on it. Look like a chalice with blood or something. Or a wine. Uh, he wears gloves with the fingers cut off and carries a large hourglass with him. Timekeeper. Knew it. Good uh, morning, friend Avatar. Good morning to you, too. Hope your day's well. What's your name? I'm David McCord. Very nice to meet you. What's your job? Every hour of the day, I ring the bell a number of times. A very good timekeeper. Let's talk about the bell. According to the numbers on the hourglass, you see. Excellent timekeeper. I usually know what time it is up here in my head somehow. Really smart timekeeper. I like this guy. But just in case I start this hourglass sun up, turning it over every nine hours. Really hard worker. It is especially important for uh, those with shops. Really. Yeah, seriously, it started with Ultima 5. They know when to open for business, eat lunch, close, and that sort of uh, thing. Another Lord Bridge innovation, this bell. Let's talk about business. Hmm, I guess that you uh, don't keep a regular schedule being the Avatar and R. Oh. Probably out uh, till all hours, collecting runes and such. Oh, yes, I am. You look much taller in person. Woodruff's uh, painting does not do you justice. Let's talk about justice, one of my favorite virtues. He he, I know a little of that. I'm just the bell ringer. Let's talk about the runes. Magical little things. Yes, they are. There's a symbol on one side and a letter on the other. Probably spell something out if you put them all on a necklace. I can't say, but that hasn't been done for a long time. Yeah, two games ago it was. Seriously, it was. After the Codex of Ultimate Wisdom was brought back from the Underworld, yep, yeah, that happened. Uh, Lord British gave the runes to the Lords of the Eight Cities. Good job, man. Really good job. Let's talk about British. Lord British appoint Lords to rule the Eight Cities. And we got to figure out who's in charge of here. Let's uh, see now. He's counting them off on his fingers. All right, folks. Geography time. Why not Trinsic uh, Yellum or Jellum? You, Scarlet Braid, Britain, Moonglow. And, ah, uh, yes. And New Magency. And I hear each of the lords know a, knows a mantra. Let's talk about the mantra. Having the fogus, what those are for. Yeah, they involved with the shrines. Just trust me. Something to do with the shrines, I think. You guessed that right. Don't doubt yourself. Always wanted to visit them. Never had the time. Yeah, you've been working keeping the time. E, e, e. This is especially important for those with shops. Okay, talk about time. Talk about runes of uh, compassion. Let's go ahead and type that in. Magical little things. There you go. Just getting some more information there. And that's Kotex Ultimate Wisdom. Uh, let's talk about uh, Mantra. Vagus Ideal. I did that before on that. So I'm um, just trying to get some information from him. Just finesse from him. So uh, now he just basically points us to the leader of the city. I think I know where to go. So we're going to go ahead and definitely uh, start uh, collecting not only the uh, Rune of Compassion. But learn the Mantra of Compassion. And yeah, that's the shrine. Bye. Until we meet again. Thank you so much for the important information. So, uh, first of all, we're going to go to the real Lord Bridge because he's the one who's going to tell who's going to be really who's the leader, I should say, of definitely each of the cities. Or he's going to give us a nice tutorial on them, at least. So, we just got to say runes or mantras, and uh, we're set. So, uh, we're going to the castle. I was supposed to explore the rest of the uh, city. However, this is uh, very important. It presides over everything. Get used to that, me stopping exploring, just stopping my tracks, just to uh, go ahead and definitely uh, do that. I might in the future, though, change that uh, uh, method by uh, just straight up uh, exploring the town, then uh, figure out who's there and who uh, knows uh, what. 
Uh, okay, let's go around there. It's the uh, moat. Yeah, it's not like the moat in King's Quest uh, 1, where there are like alligators there. You fall, some uh, alligator will eat you. No, that's not like that in the Ultima. In fact, you can't fall in the water, so... Just saying the uh, Britannians, they're much more smarter than the Daventry folks there. Yeah, because the Daventry folks accidentally fall off the bridge. And I should say is, uh, Happy Gator will have a nice happy lunch. So let's go this way. We cross the uh, government building. And uh, we're going to ignore this guy because we talked to him in the uh, last episode. So let's go ahead and uh, do uh, just that. Now we're on a uh, time crunch because I do not want to do this at night. It's better to do everything in the day, so this way I can help you all out. So let's go uh, into the castle. Now we're going to look for uh, Lord Bridge. Hopefully he is on his throne. It looks like to me it's middle of the day. He might not be because he might be taking a break. Everybody needs a break, including uh, LB. Oh, that is not Lord Bridge. That is uh, Satan. I mean, uh, Chuckles. Yeah, I forgot to ask his name. I might one day, though, but still, he's evil. He gets a lot worse than Ultima 7. How I know? I play a bits of that during COVID. And uh, I think he's here. There he is. He's sitting down eating his uh, food. Or I say lunch. You know what? Let's go ahead and talk to him. And there's the noble rule of Britannia. Let's go ahead and say one of the key words. Runes! Ask the leaders of each town to tell thee of that. Okay, mantra. Same thing as before. So we, uh, what we did was... is uh. Definitely uh, ask him about mantras and runes, and he's going to send us to the leaders. Now, we're going to go to the government building. We met the leader in the last video. Now, the uh, bad part from the last video was is I didn't know he was one of the leaders. Number one, and number two, I did not get two of the key words, which I have now, which is runes and mantra. So, uh, with that key word, runes and mantra, or rune or mantra, we'll be able to uh, start looking for the rune of uh, each of the towns which is a uh, link to the virtues in this case it's compassion so we're looking for the rune of compassion and also the mantra of compassion to learn about that so uh, let's uh, go uh, south and uh, we're looking for this building it looks like it scales on it there we are so let's go on in now I'm happy I got uh, two key words uh, I'm gonna be honest I know about all the runes and mantras well mainly the mantras but still I'm doing this as if I'm doing this for the first time. So uh, let's go ahead and talk to, uh, to uh, this guy once again from the last video. How's it going, Thaldin? And I see you're hard at work. You're going to help me again. Let's go ahead and talk about the first word on the list. Uh, runes. Uh, the rune and matra compassion are in uh, the keeping of the bards at the conservatory. Okay, that's where we're at. I entrust them with the rune due to their compassionate nature. Which, by the way, uh, bars that's the uh, compassionate class. As for the other runes, they are no longer together as they were when the uh, Kotex was r recovered. Since then, they have been, uh, they become scattered throughout the land. Each was sent to a town near its shrine. Okay, he's giving us some uh, information. If Dothdell asks the lords of each of these uh, towns, they should be able to help you to find more. The towns are Moonglow, Jellum, You, Minoc, Trinsic, Scarbrain, New Magentia. And let's go ahead and talk about this conservatory. Uh, Twas found, found it by Lord Brish. And yeah, there we go. Let's talk about the uh, Codex. Uh, Tis the greatest treasure in all the realm. Oh, yes, it is. Ultima 4 was all about getting to that Codex. And it was in five. And he bowed deeply. Thank you for the valuable information. So we got to go to the bards. Good news is they're across the way. Last view, I couldn't do it because, again, I did not have the magic words. Now I have two magic words. And we're going to go ahead and get both in this uh, video. So uh, let's uh, go there. First, we're going to go ahead and ask Kenneth. Since he's the uh, head of the bards here. Or I feel like he's the uh, in charge. So let's go across. And oh, okay, good, good, good. We still have time. We're going to ignore that uh, bum because, uh, yeah, he's going to uh, harass us again, saying uh, he's Lord British, but he's not. Uh, last video, I want to uh, see that uh, interaction. It's in the first part, but still. We have finally arrived, so let's go ahead and talk to our friend Kenneth. 
How's it going, buddy? I need your help. So I'm going to go ahead and type two words in for you. Or say two words. Yeah, he's still smiling. That's uh, good. I like his uh, portrait. Welcome, me, Lord. I am Sir Kenneth, and I gladly uh, play you a song. Runes. Arya has the uh, rune, and they could hardly have found a sweeter child to give it to. Oh, that is very cute. The little girl has the rune. Uh, once in a uh, great while, a student comes along with such a gift for learning that one need but offer a little guidance. Oh, that is kind of you. Seriously. Okay, let's keep on going on that. We'll learn more about her. Still, that is kind of you, uh, teacher in the ways of the bard. Okay, there we go. Uh, guidance. And uh, step back to watch them learn. To have uh, such a student, uh, such students is a most rewarding part of a teacher's job, and Arya is such one. Let's talk about the mantra. I've been trying to work the uh, mantra compassion into a song, but I don't know what mu is. M U means. Oh, we're gonna talk about that in a few moments. Okay, let's see what's uh, going on here. And I uh, will say bye to him. All right, we're going to go ahead and talk to the next person uh, next to him, his wife. You see a nervous young bard. Nice to meet you. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, talk about the uh, mantra. Yep, yeah, I think she's the one who might have it. The mantra of compassion is M-U. Is that a spider on your shoulder? No, it's not. I forgot to ask her name, but still. And uh, it says, no, it's just a trick of light. All right, we got the uh, mantra. So next up is the rune. Let's talk to that friendly little girl from the last video. Yeah, the one with the missing teeth, but she's very cute. Let's talk about runes. I have the rune compassion. Isn't it pretty? She reaches into her pocket and take it out to show you. Yeah, that's very nice. Do you need it for something? Oh, yes, we do. Are you on an important quest? Yes, I am. I'm not supposed to let anyone else to have it. But if you truly need it, I don't, I don't know what I should do. I know. My parents run the Blue Board Tavern. Go ask them if you can borrow the rune. We will do just that. If they say it is okay, I'll give it to you. Bye. Here's some great news and uh, bad news. Uh, let's go over the bad news. Unfortunately, Ariana cannot give us the rune of compassion until we get permission from her parents. Uh, her parents uh, works at the Blue Boar Vor Tavern. Great news is we have the Mantra Compassion, which is MU. Uh, please write that down on a sheet of paper. Just trust me on uh, that. Besides, my, my notebook's filling up full of Ultima stuff. I'm writing it down again, though, so uh, this way I can remember it. Practice makes perfect. So we're going to go ahead and look for a tavern. This might take us a while, though, because I'm going to try and make sure I go to places. That I have not went into yet. So we're going to read the signs. We see it. That's where it's at. Simple as that. We're going to use the uh, look icon. Or I think it's the L key. Yep, that's right, folks. L for look. And no, not as M-O-O-N spells moon. That's something else. Let's see what this is. I think that is somewhere else. Let's go ahead and check it out. And okay, that's a bed. And uh, let's see what that is. Oh, that's just another house. That might be the guard's house. You know what? I'm just curious. We're almost there. So that's the guard house. That's the guard uh, a room to eat and such like that. So let's go this way. Okay, there's a key. Now that might be another shop. So uh, that's that there. So let's go ahead and just hit the uh, look. Don't thou see a Fletcher. That is not it. And that's the textile uh, merchant or something like that. So uh, let's uh, look at uh, somewhere else. So we just got to keep on uh, going. And what is uh, that? That looks like it's a mug or something. Uh, this might be it. Okay, those thou see a food shop. All right, that's it. And oh, that's him. He did say he was going to be uh, near the Blue Boar Tavern. And uh, we are uh, there. We don't have any coin yet. I'm very sorry. I have to go kill some gargoyles or something for it. We have finally arrived. So let's go ahead and uh, see uh, who are the parents. I want to talk to this lass and see who she is. You see a buxom woman who looks hardworking yet contented. Oh, that's very nice of her. Let's keep on going on uh, that. All right, let's see here. Good afternoon, me lord. Welcome to the Blue Board Tavern. Oh, art thou uh, here for business or pleasure? We're here for uh, business. We have business with you. Uh, there we go. What thou uh, like ale, mead, wine, rations, or perhaps cake? 
And I'm gonna, I forgot to ask her name. Rune, dost thou wish to borrow the Rune Compassion from my daughter? She pauses a while in thought. So this is Anya. She's the uh, mother of Arya. Very well, dost thou have an honest face. I grant thee my permission. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Yeah, we have to hurry, though, because of that. Well, tis the time I was back about my work. Dishes to wash, food to cook, drinks to serve. Yeah, I think I missed that guy to talk to, but that's all right. I thank thee for stopping by for brightening my conversations. Do come again. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, say name. I am Anya. Forgot to do that. Yeah, we got her name. Now, let's go ahead and talk to this bard uh, in the tavern. Uh, you see a sad lady with hair down to her ankles. Yeah, they, I feel for you. A soft jiggling uh, accompanies her uh, silent walk. Rather than uh, talking, she sings in a voice like wind through reeds. Hell there, me lord, come listen to me. I've plenty of uh, time to sing unto thee. What's your name? I'm Lazina. They call me Lazina the Dove. Nice to meet you. From Cove I did come. Tis a town full of love. Yeah, the town of love. Uh, Dove, tis the uh, aim of my life to uh, sing like a bird. Would thou like to hear uh, the uh, news? Yep. Yeah. Uh, then uh, tell me uh, w uh, w what you like to hear. Uh, please be a song or a rhyme. Okay, let's talk about song. The Dutchman was a giant ship with masts from the largest trees. I'll have to talk to her one more time, though. The pride of its people, she was hailed the ruler of all the seas. Oh, boy, pride's about to strike. Let's see uh, what else she has to say. She sailed out of port one fine spring day and headed for distant shores. But Bryony uh, caught her by surprise, thus flung against her core. The match began. The grim men fought to uh, gather in her sails. Oh man, this is tragic already. But thunderous was the crack, and lo, the mighty vessel reeled. No words, I sank. Then uh, gentle winds danced across the surf again the following morning, or morn, as she says. Tuss la uh, nothing left of the Dutchery's hall but remains of her uh, born. Oh boy, no as I sank. And now that tale has nothing left but a grave sight on the floor. On the fence of the dead she came to rest, neither to uh, sail or never to sail no more. That is really depressing. Okay, let's go back to the uh, little girl Ariana. Reason why I'm doing that is uh, we're gonna get that rune. I'm serious, that tale was really depressing. I mean, come on. Seriously. But anyways, uh, let's go back where we came from. That's the uh, guard house, so we'll pass that. I'll have to remember that key shop. That might be a shop I forgot to explore. I'm uh, sure of it. I visited the Fletcher. I forgot to hit that store. Or it's uh, two shops there. I forgot to hit the other one. But fear not. We're going to go there after I get the rune. There is the uh, government house, so we're uh, very, very uh, close. Now, uh, there's the sand dial, so we have to hurry up now. We'll uh, go north, and after that, we'll head west. Okay, good. The guards are guarding the uh, bards. This is what I wanted. So once we get in, we'll go ahead and uh, talk to the little girl again and trigger the same uh, keywords rune or runes, and she'll give us the uh, item. We have to be honest with her, of course. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. Let's uh, go ahead and see if she honors her word. You see a cute little girl with short hair. Ariana, nice to meet you again. Hi, did you get permission from my parents to borrow the rune? I'm going to say yes. Then, here you are. She hands you the rune. I wish you the best of luck on your quest. Thank you so much. That was very compassionate of you. So, we have the rune of compassion. Let's go ahead and show that off. And uh, there it is. It's with the heart. Yeah, if you saw the thumbnail, that's what it is. So there you go. Let's look at it. Uh, Those thou see the rune of compassion, it weighs 0 0.1 stones. Oh man, I am half the weight, so I have to definitely remember to start giving other uh, party members that and start unloading uh, stuff to them as uh, well. If it starts to get too heavy on certain things, I'll uh, start uh, giving some items to other party members. Our uh, next up. Uh with the wonderful Ultima 5 and 6 team is looking for a shop that sells bags. Oh yeah, we were definitely doing that. I was supposed to stop the video here, but this is too important. Well, reason being is, like I said before, I want a, uh, I should say if I remember correctly, a runestone bag. I'm collecting all this stuff. So let's go uh, this way. There is the uh, governing building. 
where uh, we are somewhat second on starting out all this goodness. So we got the Rune of Compassion, the Mantra of Compassion, uh, Learn as well. We got one more thing to do, go to the Shrine. That's going to be for next time. But first, like I said, I need that bag. So I'm looking for a Provisionist Shop. I think that key means that is it there. So let's go ahead and check this building out. I don't remember entering it. And let's see here. Oh yeah, that does look like a provision shop. Let's uh, see here. You see a grunting and grumbling man with a large stomach. He has a pipe too. Smoke is bad for you, dude. <clears throat> Hello. His uh, breathing is quite heavy. All right. What do you need? Name. Ephraim the Provisioner. Nice to meet you. What's your job? I sell torches, oils, gems, backpack bags, shovels, and powder kegs. Good to know all this. Okay, bags. Which one are you? Ephraim looks at Dupree. It'll cost you three gold for each bag. How many you want? Two. Uh, he has Dupree. Two bags. There you go. What do you need? I'm glad you stopped by. He uh, gives you a firm handshake. Thank you so much for all this. I really needed a bag badly. So let's go ahead and set up our inventory. I'm going to uh, grab that. Oh, wow. That's uh, good to uh, know. I have to definitely remember to uh, boost up Dupree's uh, strength. Well, most likely I have to get uh, one stat, one the other, something like that. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, do this. Uh, move uh, one of the bags over. Hopefully it's not the wrong one. Uh, to the avatar. Let's make sure I have the right one. Oh, 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 we were supposed to not give that away. No, 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 no. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, do that again. This time I'm going to give him back that bag. Okay, folks, this is attempt number uh, two. I'm still learning the game. So let's move the bag back to uh, Dupree. And uh, there you go. He has the bag. So let's go ahead and uh, do this. I think it's this one now. Okay, yep, that's the one in the middle. So we'll just click his uh, name or the bag. And uh, move uh, that one over to the avatar. Now, be closer uh, to me on the top of the inventory because that's how it rolls. And uh, there we go. We're going to go ahead and uh, check that out. Okay, that's it. So we'll move the bag over. So let's do that and move this over. And uh, that's it. There you go. We're all uh, set and good to uh, go. So we got three bags. I'm going to keep that three for each character. I'm going to move also some keys over too. This will be the key bag. Let's move that over. Yeah, I think I have so many shields and boomerangs. So I'm going to have to uh, go off screen and start dumping them back at the uh, castle. So our uh, next up, everyone, is the bridge east of Britain. Yep, that's going to be our last destination. I think I missed the magic shop here, but uh, again, I need some gold. So once I do have plenty of gold, I'll uh, start uh, looking for the magic shop. Probably in the next video after I uh, do the Shrine of Compassion and clean it up. Yep, heard me right. That's the next video. We're going in towards the Shrine. Attempt to uh, bust some gargoyle heads. We're cracking some skulls next time. Yeah, the first video was combat. This is three videos that's no longer combat. Well, I'm gathering information, as always. Well, the first video, I should say the second video was actually all about, of course, uh, you know, getting some loot. And if it's like shallow waters like this, you can walk across. This is uh, good to know, everyone. So let's keep on going for a little bit more. Uh, I think I'm going to uh, stop right here. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, review what we learned today. What did I learn in Britain Part 2? There are weapons and armor shops in Britain. However, they only buy certain uh, ones they uh, sell. So if you try to sell leather helms, for example, you cannot. If you have a leather uh, armor, you can sell them to them. Efren sells bags and backpacks. Daver starts the Rune and Matra of Compassion quest. Daver sends you the Lord British about runes and mantras across the world. Lord British says each town leader knows about the runes and mantras. Let's move on to the next section. Tholden uh, knows who has the rune and mantra compassion. He sent you actually across the way. Kenneth uh, in the uh, Bard's uh, Guild uh, Hall across the way from the government building knows who has the rune and compassion. Nag gives you the mantra of compassion MU. Write that down. MU, that's the mantra of compassion. Ariana will only give you the rune if you get the permission from her mother at the Blue Boar Tavern. Anya at the Blue Boar Tavern will grant the permission. Anya gives you the rune after. And that's about it. So let's go ahead and recap this video. After I did some exploring in town, I found out about runes and mantras. Went back to Lord British to ask about that. 
He sent me uh, back to, uh, of course, Britain to find out who's the leader of Britain. Found that Thaldin uh, is the leader of Britain. He sends me away to the Bard's Guild, where the Bards were at. Kenneth uh, said the uh, little girl Ariana has the rune. Nana knows the uh, mantra Compassion, which is MU. By the way, the Compassion uh, mantra is MU once again. Ariana says she'll only give me the uh, rune if I ask permission from her mother, which I uh, did. Now I have the rune of Compassion. In the next Ultima 6, the False Prophet video, we're going to go ahead and cleanse the Shrine of Compassion. This is it for my Ultima 6, the False Prophet PC Part 4, See of Britain Part 2, Rune and Mantra of Compassion video. This is Lorefent signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night. Do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more classic and modern games just like this. If you like what you see, then pick my suggestion on the upper left hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left hand corner. I'll go ahead and eat this delicious mutton. Thank you.